everyone, welcome back to another beer review on Cheer to Beers. On this review, we're looking at a uh, beer that Audrey and I picked up on vacation in Myrtle Beach at the Piggly Wiggly at Market Commons. Uh, this is a beer brewed with almonds and cherries. It's uh, McKellar, and uh, the name on the bottle says Riz Ala Ma'el. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's 8% ABV, it comes in a 12.7 ounce bottle. Doesn't really have any description on it, not a style of beer. Um, so I'm assuming this is just a fruit beer. Let's go ahead and get into it. The aroma of this beer uh, isn't uh, really anything special. You're not getting a, a lot of fruit or anything like that. You are getting a touch of cherry in the smell, and then I'm just getting kind of a, a sweet malt smell in there. Um, but, but so far, the smell is just a little underwhelming for what the uh, label says it's supposed to be. So the first taste of this beer is, uh, again, very underwhelming. Sometimes McKellar beers uh, seem to disappoint me, and this might be one of them. Um, I'm just really not getting a lot of that cherry. It's almost, you know, like a mild brown in color, uh, but uh, a touch of, you know, red in there to give you the, the feel that there's going to be some fruit. Um, but not getting a very good taste at all, just kind of a muddy, malty taste, uh, but nothing special so far. Overall, this uh, almond cherry beer from McKellar is uh, not too complex, and um, but a little bit interesting. It has, uh, you know, up front when you first take your your first sip and you're drinking the beer, you get the cherry almost coming through. But before that, you can get most of the cherry flavor. You get a, a malt that comes through and kind of cancels everything out, um, and then just leaves you le leaves a kind of bitter taste on your tongue, maybe from the almonds or what they use. But overall. Um, reading the label and looking at this beer, I thought it was going to be a lot better than it actually is. It looks really appealing and uh, the cherry flavor and, and the way they do the art on the label makes you think you're going to be drinking a really fruity, cherry flavored beer. Um, and it's really not that. It's just, it's very middle of the road for me. I don't know if it's skunked because of the green bottle, if it's old or what, if there's an issue with it. But um, judging from this bottle, not a very uh, great beer, I guess I would say. So I'm going to give the McKellar... Riz Ala Mael, I'm sure I'm butchering that, a 5 out of 10, um, just really uh, doesn't do it for me. I wish there was, you know, a lot more cherry flavor, you know, some more nuttiness coming through with the almonds, but overall it's all right. Uh, probably something I wouldn't recommend, you know, to go buy because it's $10, but if you're somewhere, maybe at a bar and, you know, want to split a bottle with a friend or something like that, you're at a tasting, uh, give it a shot. It could be your, you know, kind of beer, just uh, really not for me. So if you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it, and until next time, cheers.